Hi everybody, uh, it is Monday night, uh, June 3rd, going into June 4th. Um, it's been a week since my last video. It's been a week since my last confession. Here is my shirt, which is pretty cool, um, except you have to speak Japanese, um, have been a music fan, uh, you know, and been alive in the, you know, in the 80s and the 90s. But if you like hip-hop and you speak Japanese, it's hilarious. It's uh, a takeoff on the MTV show Yo MTV Raps, and this is the Japanese character for the sound Yo. It's pretty funny. Okay, so a lot has happened in the last week, and uh, you know I I have so much I want to say all the time, and and it's it's uh, it's uh, I try to wrap it up. I mean you know, I try to combine ideas so that they. Um, you make a logical flow, but I'm just starting to get overwhelmed with things to talk about, and uh, not this video, but like I think next video, I'm just gonna have to like go line item by line item and just talk whether they make sense or not, and and not even really like, you know, make commentary, just say what the words are on the page, because they're all interesting, they're all really interesting arguments. Um, let's see, so effects in the last week, additional effects since taking the last shot. Um, um, I definitely think there's been at least one day where I where I was really moody, due to hormones. Um, previous to that, I thought I was mostly just feeling the effects of the testosterone blockers and not so much the estrogen. I think there is some like a little bit of fat accumulating around the hips, and um, I, I I definitely have like twitchy and puffy nipples. So. Uh, <laughs> There's just so I don't know I can't really even know where to start. Um, there was a, a presentation this week on uh, a, a Dr. To uh, Toby Meltzer from uh, Arizona came to New York and um, did uh, a, a presentation on female to male procedures, uh, male to female procedures, and on FFS. And I went and uh, saw them all, and that was really cool. Um, I liked his personality. I liked his approach, and I liked his results. I mean, it's really scary um, there's a lot to talk about about uh, I also met with him privately um, which was fun and interesting but watching the results of the of the FFS the before and after I mean it's just it's disturbing to me how much it matters to me gendering people um, you know I mean I f obviously I understand where people are coming from and I, I, I no longer need like a mental leap to, to um, consider certain people in, in the way they want to be considered but it's daunting. You just buy it when, the f when you read the face right. You just buy it, um, and that's really. I mean, that's that's, at the, that's the crux of a lot of my own fears. Is that is that, uh, you know, between between people who uh, will hate you <laughs> for being trans and people who are uh, gen you know genuinely understanding, um, there's this middle ground of people who are tolerant, you know, people who are are open to people making whatever choices they want to make uh, and, you know, allowing people to, to take the freedoms they want. And, I, you know, I think anyone who's my friend qualifies under that. But, but, then, uh, but then people who don't, who aren't, you know, uh, understanding, these are harsh words, but people who, who um, don't think of you as genuine, you know, I don't think of you as authentic. Uh, it's just it's just annoying how appearance affects people's perceptions so much. Uh, if I looked like an idle woman, people wouldn't have such a hard time considering me authentic. Um, people people will think of me as an outsider aspiring to be a woman instead of already being one. Um, but you know that that all plays into my fears too. You know, it's it's it's, it's I can never shake the idea that maybe I am the idiot and gender is socially constructed and you know you know the transgenders are not authentic and I'm an intruder and and uh, I'm aspiring to something that's imaginary uh, a gender of any sort you know if gender is socially constructed then I'm and and I don't believe these things I think they're absolutely scientifically disproven in all kinds of like I think it uh, is is a symptom of lazy thinking I think terrible ideas but it's j it's just a boogeyman right and and uh, in fact there was a Huffington um, uh, uh, blog post a bunch of people railed into the author um, over that over that exact point but 
you know, I can't shake the idea that I, that just as a boogeyman, that, that I could will myself out of this, that I'm being weak by choosing transition, um, which is sad. If I heard myself say that, I, I would immediately be like, no, that's, that's dumb. I mean, my friend, anyone I could run into, you know, if, if I saw myself, I mean, I, I, I I, I'm trying to speak in hypotheticals, but there are people in my life in similar positions. If I saw myself behaving this way, I'd be like, no, come on. Duh. Come on, girl. Uh, get with the program. Like, get over it. Um, but but that's, it's, that's why it's a boogeyman, right? All right, I'm going to stop the video because I want them to be short. But I've got a million, billion, kajillion more things to say. Oh, maybe I'll say a little bit about meeting with the guy. Um meeting with the surgeon um he said he would have done my chin and maybe shorten the lip and do the nose and uh, brow and hair my dumbass hairline um do a hairline advancement um which all makes a lot of sense obviously i wish i could get away with not doing any of that and not spending the money but it all sounds reasonable and and justified um i asked him why he got into it into this business and he says everybody's happy to be there and 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 really grateful and uh he says he often deals with overachievers which i think really is probably just a symptom of people who can afford <laughs> to have ffs but which for the for, for the lay people is um facial feminization surgery ps all right um, next time, I should do these, I like, obviously, I should do these more regularly. I have a huge ass list of things to talk about. Um, take care. Goodbye.